Hi guys, welcome back to um, Allotment Diggers. Well, today um, it's really, really, um, what well, can I say? It, it's not rain today, however, um, for, for the last four or five days it's been constant rain um, on the allotments and uh, we've had some really, really um, severe wind which has caused a lot of damage on, it caused a bit of damage on my plot but um, on some other on some other plots like uh, it caused a bit of damage as well um, like me, me mate um, George uh, who was, we just done the shed today and um, put his shed up for him um, come on last night and this was where his shed was well it's very windy today here on the allotment so my mate George's um, new shed's just blown over there we ain't even got it on its foundations yet and it's upside down that should be something fun to do tomorrow morning when we come on here I should be doing the base, putting the base down for him but yet he didn't come today really needs to be um, tipped up the right way and put on its base it's going to put it over there, there's its base but yeah, it's blown over, bloody hell eh? I can't believe how just how strong this wind is yeah, upside down, it was that vicious the wind on here the other day and apparently um, this it, this is the, the calm before the storm but apparently we've got some really really um, strong winds um, due today and tomorrow um, so I've been battening down the hatches um, we did eventually put the shed today um, it's not been raining today so far touch wood he says um, we did put his shed up so this is where we've we moved the shed. down to my mate George's plot I just wanted to show you the shed it's, it's up um, the right way up now and uh, we put it onto these foundations there. Round here gets pretty waterlogged, so we've lifted it up for him. And um, well, there's his old shed. But um, yeah, that one there, um, pretty sturdy actually. I can't believe it must have rolled about four or five times before it stopped upside down. But um, it's done it no permanent damage anyway. Uh, we mounted it on that base there today, screwed it all down, and it'd take a small tornado to lift it, I would imagine. But yeah, that's uh, that's his new shed. As you can see there, we've lifted it up. Uh, it gets a lot prone for water. Um, um, the, it really floods where it is where his shed is. So we've lifted it up. Uh, we've got to do a few more up little bits around it. Put some skirting to stop anything from living on underneath the shed. And uh, we're good to go. I'm not too sure what he's going to do with the old shed, but um, he might even keep it. Yeah, I don't know. Um, yeah, down on my plot, uh, we come down and um, I come down to me outside tomatoes well, like, looks like this. The um, tomatoes have uh, blown over. <coughs> I've got them strapped up here, and the whole lot's gone right over here. Completely snapped in this wind. Absolute nightmare. All them beautiful tomatoes there. I'm just going to leave it on there. You never know. We might they might ripen. And look, more damage over there. This one's all blown over as well. Absolutely crazy. I need to just check around to see what other nightmares have happened. But yeah, that's blown over as well. Sad tidings. Yeah, so I was pretty gutted. Anyway, we we got some canes and we've tidied tidied them all up. And um, you know, this, we've done the best we can. And uh, this is what they look oh, like now. The tomatoes upright again. You can see what we've done here. We tied loads of string round them to hold them together, and uh, they look okay. Hopefully, they ripen all the way down. They're all under there. Look at these, they're absolutely wonderful. It's, I nearly choked when I saw them all, all blown over. There's a few ripening there now. That big bunch of uh, tomatoes there, and it's absolutely covered in tomatoes. This looks like a bit of blight up there. Yeah, we can always take the, the green ones off and um, ripen them. You don't have to be, you know, you don't have to ripen them on the vine. You can actually take them off and ripen them. But uh, yeah, these ones seem to just start ripening now, so uh, pretty chuffed with them actually. But when I come on yesterday, they were all flat over. I mean, look, the wind's giving it some up there with the flag. Let's go and have a look well, at the other one. We've stuck a few more canes in here and tied them up. I mean, these tomatoes here, 
I mean, the, it's absolutely fantastic, them, but unfortunately they're not ripened yet. Absolutely, in the centre there, there's just absolutely tons of tomatoes and there's a, we've actually blight on here, unfortunately. Um, I'm going to leave it another week and when it starts to get really bad, that's when I'm going to take all the tomatoes off, whether they're ripened or not. We can ripen them at home on the windowsill or in a drawer. You know, in a drawer with, with um, put some tissues in the bottom of the drawer and uh, tissues over the top of them. They ripen just as good. But uh, unfortunately, uh, yeah, the, the wind blew these over yesterday and we've had to take these drastic measures there to keep them upright. Hopefully, they will ripen, but first frost, that's it. We're, 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 we're fingers crossed that we don't get any severe frosts on here. Um, hopefully they will ripen in the next couple of weeks some of these tomatoes and we'll get some of them, at least get some um, tomatoes. The same thing happened with me, me corn, my corn blew over, um, or some of my corn, any other corn what blew over we've picked up and we've harvested and um, this is some of the corn that we've harvested. Well we've been picking the corn and I uh, just took one of these off and I'm um, just inspecting it there and it's absolute perfect. Um, completely covered and the way to tell whether it's um, it's okay or not if you press down on one of the um, the corns there it should like liquid should start to come out and as you can see it is liquid but I've pushed it into there anyway that's the corn you think I'd be happy with that but I can't stand it to be quite honest with you the girls love it and that's what I grow it for I grow it for the girls so as soon as I get on with this, um, I can guarantee you, um, my two daughters and my missus will be wading into these and uh, putting butter on them. And I think that's what they'll be having for supper tonight. So um, there's a the result with the corn. Uh, there's plenty more, but unfortunately it's all blown over. So we'll be clearing um, some of that, the ones that have fallen over, and taking them out, which these are, so you know. We'll take them out and um, we'll be getting that bed ready shortly. But yeah, that's just some of the corn and uh, it looks pretty good. So there's the result. Um, not too bad. Uh, we will be taking the rest up, but there's, there's two different varieties there. There was the um, Incredible F1s, which haven't done at all well this year. Um, well, when I say haven't done at all well, they haven't grown that big. However, the um, the the corn itself is done magnificently, so does it matter they grow 10 foot tall? Um, as long as you're getting decent corn, which you just saw there. Uh, anyway, uh, we've got some other corn, I can't remember the name of it, this is it here. So um, we're going to leave that in for a few more weeks, and um, I think we'll be good to go. Um, we was in Wilkie's um, today, I got a tip off of my mate Bernard, he says, Matt, everything's, um, I think it was 75% off, he says, you want to get yourself down there, so uh, I w actually went down to buy some stuff for me, um, from, from my garden and my paths, and I bought this there, um, £1.60, <laughs> some root blasts, this is about 10 quid, and, uh, well, you can see that we bought this stuff here as well. As you can see, the price reduced to £3.50 from 16 quid. Uh, we've also got some fost, um, uh, I can't say, fost, fost region, um, 95p. Um, well, was, uh, we, we got some um, patio week. Oh, this was, I think it was 50p, I think it was. Normally about five, six quid. Um, as you can see, we've got a few weed killers there. They won't be on this plot. We don't put any of it on this plot, um, on my anywhere near my plot. But um, yeah, just just been in there. We bought a few seeds as well. I bought some um, for next year. I bought some um, sweet corn, the incredible F ones. That's what we did this year. That's the ones what we've got. I've got a few packs of these, and uh, the Telegraph as well. We've got some Telegraph. And uh, we've got some broad beans which I'm going to be sowing um, in, ne in the next few weeks. And we'll be overwintering them outside, they do okay. And come 
April, May we'll be harvesting them. So watch this space with that. But yeah, um, it's been absolutely terrible on the allotments and in, in Salford. Um, I was going up the road we slain the other day when a, a tree sort of fell in the middle of the road. Have a look at this. Yep, yeah, you see the picture there. That, there was, that was the head teacher of um, um, All Souls School diverting the traffic around the tree. It was only there for about an hour, but it caused absolute mayhem. So you can imagine what the wind was like, and apparently, so I've been told, the wind's on its way back, and it's um, going to be really strong. So I just popped down here now to, to batten the axes down, tighten and put everything away, what can be blown away, and um, tell you about Wilco's. I've got the seeds at 75% off, and everything else, well, I don't know what that is, um, 16 16 pound it's less than 70 it's, it's more it's about 76 78 percent off um and i mean this roundup here you, you can't knock it absolutely brilliant and this stuff here um it sorts out that japanese knotweed and we have got japanese knotweed at the back of the allot my allotments well not my allotment itself but the field at the back and it's just behind the fence so Guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to be spraying the field, <laughs> or just that back of the plot. It's not on the allotment itself. It's just behind the allotment, and um, it, what it does, it comes, it comes on the the path behind the allotments. And um, it's about three, four years ago we treated it and we wiped it. We thought we wiped it all out, but um, I've noticed one or two of them started to grow. So. We'll be back over there and give them a good dab of this um, this weed killer, and hopefully uh, we'll take it out. So yeah, I'm going to leave you with this clip, but like I say, it's the um, it's the calm before the storm, guys. It, it really is. It's very menacing the the clouds at the moment. Anyway, I'm going to get this lot off home now, and um, I'm going to leave you with this clip. Well, that's it, guys. So we're very windy. A lot of diggers. Anyway, I'm going to get out of here. Tornado.